Let's take a look at path animation here in Cinema 4D. Okay, so what I want to do is middle mouse click first and go into my front view. And I'm going to grab one of my drawing tools. We'll grab the cubic tool. And we're just going to draw something, a little path here. Do something like that. We will come over here, sort of move these around. Let me drag this down a little bit. Pull this one out. Maybe something like that. That's going to work. Let me pull that up a little bit. Okay, I think that's going to be good. Let's go back into our perspective view. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a cylinder. And we will take that, put it on the x-axis. Maybe make that, let's say, 500. And actually, let's make that smaller. Let's make that 100. And let's make the radius 20, something like that. Let's go ahead and take a cone. Again, on the x-axis, let's go minus x-axis. Let's take the radius down, height down. Sort of move that up front. Now let's come up here, select these two objects, convert them, and then we'll right click, connect objects and delete. We'll rename that arrow. All right. So now let's go ahead and pull out here a little bit so we can see what's happening. Maybe we'll take this path and we'll just scale that up a little bit, something like that. Okay, so what I want to do is have this arrow follow the spline, right? In order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the arrow. I'm going to right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and I'm going to click on Align to Spline. We have our Align to Spline expression tag. And if we click on that, we see that we have a box here where it is looking for a spline. So what do you think we should do? Probably drag that into that box. Okay. Now we have a position parameter here that we can change. And based on where we go with that, it is going from the beginning of the spline to the end of the spline. So something else you should notice is that you can't move the object at this point, right? It's locked to this spline. It's locked to the beginning of the spline. What we can do now is we can come over here to our line to spline tag, and we can put a keyframe down in the position for the beginning. So command or control and click. I'm going to drag this up to 90, and I'm going to run that up to 100, and I'm going to click. And so now we have an animation where the arrow is running along the spline. But we obviously have some issues here because once it gets halfway up, it starts to go backwards, and that just does not look cool. So what we need to do is come back over here and click on Tangential. And then we're going to come over here and click on our Enable Axis. And we're going to rotate this around. Let me grab this arrow and rotate this around to 90 degrees. So now if we go ahead and play this animation, it's doing what we would expect it to do. All right. That's what we wanted and everything seems to be working fine. Now that is the path animation basics here in Cinema 4D.